What if several European nations decided to leave the EU and join a rising economic bloc instead? This isn't just a hypothetical scenario. It's becoming a reality as countries increasingly look toward BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa as an alternative. With the shifting tides of global politics and economics, the implications of such a move could reshape the international landscape. Today, we'll explore the factors driving this trend, the potential consequences for both BRICS and the EU, and what it all means for the future of global alliances. Let's dive into this intriguing development. Chapter 1. The EU's Response As nations eye BRICS as an alternative, the European Union finds itself in a crisis of confidence. The EU has long prided itself on being a bastion of democracy and economic prosperity, but recent discussions about potential exits from the Union have raised alarms. Countries like Hungary and Poland have expressed dissatisfaction with EU policies, fueling debates about sovereignty versus collective governance. This discontent is rooted in perceived bureaucratic overreach from Brussels and economic constraints imposed by EU regulations. The stakes are enormous. If member states start leaving in mass, it could significantly diminish the EU's political clout and economic stability. Recent reports indicate that even if one or two nations were to exit, it could cost billions in lost revenue and investments. Analysts estimate that a mass exit could lead to a contraction of 2% in GDP across Europe, a staggering figure that would ripple through economies worldwide. In response to these challenges, EU leaders are scrambling to reassess their strategies. They must find ways to address member states' grievances while reinforcing the benefits of remaining within the Union. The Role of Nationalism Nationalism is another factor complicating the EU's response. In many member states, nationalist parties are gaining traction by advocating for policies that prioritize national interests over collective European goals. This rise in nationalism can be seen as a reaction against globalization and its perceived threats to local cultures and economies. Citizens are increasingly questioning whether their governments should prioritize EU regulations over national sovereignty. The implications of this rising nationalism are profound. If member states continue down this path, we may witness a fragmentation of the EU itself leading to a scenario where countries prioritize their own interests at the expense of collective action. This could weaken the EU's ability to tackle pressing issues such as climate change or migration effectively. Chapter 2 – Economic Implications Let's break down what this means for both blocs economically. For BRICS, the expansion could lead to increased investment flows into member countries. If more nations join, trade volumes could potentially increase significantly, reaching up to $1 trillion in annual trade by 2025. This surge would not only enhance economic growth, but also create new job opportunities and bolster infrastructure development across member states. Moreover, BRICS nations are positioning themselves as viable alternatives for countries seeking economic partnerships free from Western influence. This shift is particularly appealing for developing nations looking for investment without stringent conditions, often imposed by Western financial institutions like the International Monetary Fund or World Bank. Conversely, for the EU, losing even one member state could trigger a significant economic downturn. The departure would not only result in immediate financial losses, but also undermine investor confidence in the region as a whole. Countries considering leaving might find themselves at a crossroads. Do they prioritize short-term gains from joining BRICS over long-term stability within the EU? This dilemma is compounded by rising inflation rates and economic uncertainty across Europe. Furthermore, we must consider how these shifts will impact global supply chains. As countries pivot towards BRICS for trade partnerships, European businesses may find themselves at a disadvantage if they cannot adapt quickly enough to changing market dynamics. For instance, if key suppliers move towards BRICS nations for cheaper production costs or favorable trade agreements, European industries might struggle to compete. Chapter 3 – Geopolitical Ramifications 
As nations pivot towards BRICS, geopolitical dynamics are changing rapidly. The rise of this coalition could signal a shift towards a multipolar world where power is distributed among various global players rather than centered around Western nations like the United States or those within NATO. This shift may lead to increased tensions in international relations as countries reassess their alliances based on emerging political landscapes. One major concern is how military alliances might evolve alongside these economic shifts. With countries like Russia and China at the helm of BRICS, there are worries about military collaborations forming within the bloc that could challenge NATO's influence in Europe. For instance, if more countries align themselves with BRICS militarily or politically, NATO may need to rethink its strategies for maintaining security in Europe. Additionally, this geopolitical shift raises questions about global governance structures that have long been dominated by Western powers. Institutions like the United Nations may face challenges as emerging economies demand greater representation and influence over global decision-making processes. The implications extend beyond mere economics. They touch on national security and international diplomacy as well. Nations may find themselves at a crossroads, choosing between traditional alliances or exploring new partnerships that align more closely with their current needs and aspirations. The Influence of Technology Another layer to consider is how technology plays into these geopolitical shifts. As countries like China push forward with initiatives such as the Digital Silk Road, a component of its Belt and Road Initiative, there's potential for technological alliances that bypass traditional Western frameworks altogether. Countries may seek partnerships with BRICS members for technological advancements in areas such as artificial intelligence or telecommunications infrastructure. This technological competition can further strain relations between Western powers and emerging economies aligned with BRICS, creating an environment where technological sovereignty becomes just as crucial as economic independence. Chapter 4 public sentiment. How do citizens feel about these changes? Recent surveys indicate that public sentiment in several European countries is shifting dramatically. Many citizens express frustration with their government's handling of economic issues and are increasingly open to exploring alternatives like BRICS. The discontent stems from rising living costs and perceived stagnation within traditional political frameworks. Social media platforms have become hotbeds for discussions about national identity versus economic necessity. Memes reflecting both support for and opposition to joining BRICS are trending across various platforms, showcasing a divided public opinion that mirrors broader societal concerns about globalization and national sovereignty. In many cases, citizens feel disconnected from decision makers who seem far removed from everyday struggles. This disconnects fuels skepticism towards both Brussels and national governments alike. As people grapple with complex issues such as immigration policy or climate change, issues often tied closely to EU regulations, they begin questioning whether staying within this framework serves their best interests anymore. Generational Divide Interestingly enough, there appears to be a generational divide regarding attitudes toward these shifts. Younger generations tend to be more globally minded. They value international cooperation, but also seek accountability from their governments regarding domestic issues such as education or job opportunities. On the other hand, older generations may lean toward nationalism out of fear that globalization threatens their way of life or cultural identity. This divide complicates political discourse within member states making it challenging for leaders to navigate public sentiment effectively while addressing pressing concerns about economic stability. Chapter 5. The Strategic Importance of BRICS As the BRICS coalition expands, its strategic importance on the global stage becomes increasingly evident. The inclusion of new members, particularly those rich in natural resources, positions BRICS as a formidable force capable of influencing global markets and trade dynamics. Countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran bring substantial oil reserves, while nations like Ethiopia contribute agricultural resources and minerals. This diversification of resources within BRICS not only enhances its economic clout, 
but also allows it to exert significant influence over energy markets. The potential for BRICS to reshape energy trade is particularly noteworthy. With three major oil exporters, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Iran, now part of this coalition, there is a distinct possibility that BRICS could establish mechanisms for trading commodities outside the traditional frameworks dominated by Western powers. This shift could lead to a reduction in reliance on the US dollar for international transactions, prompting a significant recalibration of global financial systems. This initiative not only enhances connectivity among member states, but also opens up opportunities for investment in critical sectors like transportation and energy. The strategic partnerships formed through these initiatives could further solidify BRICS's position as a counterbalance to Western economic dominance. Chapter 6. Future Prospects So, what does the future hold for both BRICS and the EU? Potential scenarios abound as we look ahead at this rapidly evolving landscape. If more countries join BRICS seeking economic opportunities or political alliances, we could see a stronger coalition capable of challenging Western hegemony. In response to the challenges posed by departing members or potential exits on the horizon, the EU may undergo significant reforms aimed at retaining its member states while addressing their grievances. Countries might seek hybrid alliances that incorporate elements from both blocs, balancing trade relationships while navigating complex geopolitical realities. As nations reassess their priorities amid shifting allegiances between BRICS and the EU, we might witness an overall realignment of global trade routes that favor emerging markets over established ones, changing how goods flow across borders forever. Moreover, with increased interaction between nations aligned with BRICS, there comes an opportunity for cultural exchange that could enrich societies on both sides, fostering understanding even amidst political disagreements. As we move forward into an uncertain future marked by shifting allegiances and evolving power dynamics on the world stage, the question remains, how will these changes shape our lives? Thanks for tuning into this deep dive into the shifting sands of international politics. What do you think? Are we witnessing the dawn of a new era with BRICS rising? Or will the EU find a way to hold on to its members? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.